Hey everyone, this is Craig from Warpub.com. I'm going to demonstrate the relationship between elapsed time and wall time with and without parallel query involved. To do this, I took a clip from my Warpub Online Institute video seminar, Tuning Oracle using an AWR report. So let's get started. Consider this situation. Suppose a SQL statement consumes 40 seconds of CPU time and has 20 seconds of associated wait time. So what's its database time? While it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure it out, 60 seconds. However, how long did it take that SQL statement to run? The wall time. Well, I actually have not given you enough information to answer that. I want to introduce what is called elapsed time. Elapsed time is all the DB time associated with a specific SQL ID, although it can be associated with more than one SQL ID. Now, if parallel query is not involved, if the DB time is 60 seconds, the elapsed time will be 60 seconds, and the wall time or the runtime will also be 60 seconds. Look closely at the output. You'll notice the elapsed time is 171 seconds. The wall time is 171 seconds and the DB time is 170 seconds. So they're all really close. Now this is a sure sign that this is a serially run SQL statement. And if you look closely at the SQL, you'll notice that I put in the no parallel hint just to make sure. Okay, let's shake it up a bit. Take a look at this output right here. Notice the wall time. It's 362 seconds, no problem. But look at the elapsed time. It's 1,062 seconds. And how about the DB time, the database time? It's only 13 seconds. So what is going on? First of all, notice that I've hinted the SQL statement. So there's gonna be three parallel query slaves. Now you can see the database time of only 13 seconds. That's the database time for just the main session. It does not include the database time for the, uh, for the three parallel query sessions. So we can expect that 13 seconds of DB CPU to equal the entire statement's elapsed time or even the wall time. Second thing, all of the sessions associated with this SQL statement right here all of their database time, the three parallel query slaves plus the main session, all of that database time, that is the elapsed time. That's where we get the 1,069 seconds. But because there's three parallel query slaves, the user experience, the wall time, that drops by about a third. That's why the wall time is, what, 362 seconds compared to the 1,069 seconds. 